Hey guys, this is Morgan and in this video, I will be doing a species profile on one of my favourite species of ants, the black jewel ants, scientifically known as Campanotus oriventris. They are monogenous, trimorphic and claustral. Although they are rarer than Campanotus albospathus, I actually believe that it is the best beginner species in Singapore. This is due to several reasons. Firstly, just like Campanotus albospathus, they have a wide range of survivable conditions and can survive without resources for a long period of time. They also have a large size that prevents them from escaping in most setups. And I've also noticed that they have a lower ability to climb smooth surfaces even before a barrier is put on. Another reason why I find it easier than keeping Campanotus albospathus is that it is slower and has a harder exoskeleton. This makes it easier to catch them with your bare fingers without accidentally crushing them. Greens are about 15mm. They have a black body and have small and shiny hairs covering it. There is the most hair at the abdomen giving them a shiny golden colour at the abdomen. The workers are about 6 to 8 millimetres and are similar to the queen in their body colour and shiny hairs. The main difference is that the abdomens are more greenish in colour than golden. I suspect that this is due to the smaller surface area, thus reflecting less light. In the wild, they live in soil and move large amounts of soil creating this mountain-like structure. They thrive at 25 to 30 degrees Celsius and at 60 to 80 percent humidity. Similarly to Campanotus albospathus, they can survive conditions outside this recommended above for quite some time, and they can also survive in most types of farming harems. As for their diet, they are not picky eaters and can practically eat anything that they can find while scavenging. So, remember what I said about them having shiny hair? This is for them to reflect UV light. You see, these ants are actually diurnal, meaning that they are active during the day. In order to survive the scorching heats in the tropics, these ants have adapted to have hairs that can reflect away the UV light. This is to prevent them from overheating. Also, I think I should mention that although the workers of the colony are diurnal, they actually still have their nuptial flights at night, so do keep an eye out for them. So, what do you think about these species? Don't you find them interesting? If you do, do check out my colony updates on my open concept colony of black sugar ants in the description. I'll also be making a playlist of ant species profiles that you can see in the description. Currently, there's only Campanotus albospathus and oriventris, but I'll be making more profiles of various different types of species in the future, such as trapjaw ants, weaver ants, and even the giant forest ants. If you found this video helpful, do leave a like and subscribe so that you don't miss out on future content. Do comment below about the types of videos that you would like to see next and your thoughts about the black sugar ants. Do share this video with your friends who are looking or may want to keep this species. Anyways, that's the end of the video. I'm Morgan and I'll see you next time. Bye!